Hello, and welcome to Breathwork Bestie, the podcast that makes breathwork accessible. My name is Crystal Rose. I am a transformation coach and breathwork facilitator, and I am your host on this beautiful journey through breathwork. If you are new here or new to breathwork in general, I highly recommend you go back to our very first episode to get yourself feeling comfortable. If you've been with us before, welcome back. Now let's get started. Hello, love. Welcome back. My name is Crystal Rose, and today I will be your breathwork bestie. So I have been feeling called to do an episode on feeling safe to receive. (sighs) Now, this may not be something that's in your awareness. Maybe it is. But oftentimes when we receive or are about to receive support, money, gifts, compliments, all of those things, it can just feel not great. It can feel unsafe. And even money, yes. You know, when you receive large sums of money or maybe you have a business and you're making, you're starting to make more, it can feel unsafe. And so we want to regulate our nervous system around receiving, whether that be to receive more money, to receive more love, to receive more support, more compliments, more self-love, whatever it is, really opening up that receiving energy. And if you're familiar at all with masculine and feminine energetics, the energy of receiving is a feminine energy. So it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, but really being able to root in that energy and open, 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 open yourself up to receiving. So we're going to get in there and we're going to really like layer safety in with the idea that it is safe to receive. So just making yourself comfortable whether that be lying down or sitting, whatever feels good for you. Just taking a nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. There you go. And again. And the way that we're going to breathe is we're going to do counts for your breath. So We're going to do them in counts of four, inhaling in for four, exhaling out for four. So we're counting in your mind at whatever pace that you count for, but we're counting in one, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Good. So just keeping that in mind, in for four, out for four. Beautiful. Beautiful. And so finding that safety in your own body. If you have done the very first episode, then you may have been able to locate safety in your body. And if you want to keep getting that dose of safety, we do have three other episodes. Episode 44, 58, and 60 are all safety related. So just finding that safety in your body. And what this means is maybe there's somewhere in your body you feel safe. So we're continuing to breathe. We're settling in and just noticing if there's a space in your body that you just naturally feel safe. Or maybe there's another person that you feel really safe with. And so just bringing them in, bringing in that feeling of safety with that person, noticing where that is in your body. Perfect. Maybe there's a place you feel really safe. And maybe you feel safe with God, source, universe, nature, whatever that higher power is to you. Maybe that's where you feel the most safe. And so just having that awareness of the safety, whichever way that you feel it, 
wherever, however you can feel it. And as you breathe, just noticing where you feel that safety in your body. Maybe there's a warmth in your chest. Maybe there's a solidity in your legs or your arms, your hands. Maybe it's in your stomach, maybe it's in your head, maybe it's above your head. And just noticing where you feel that in your body. That's it, keeping that breath going. Perfect, so I'm just gonna let you be here for a little bit, really breathing in with that safety, that awareness of the safety in your body, the breath, four counts in, four counts out, just really settling in here, letting your body feel so safe, really rooting in that, and just stay with it. Keep the breathing going. That's it, keep it going. We're just feeling so safe. Maybe you might need to toggle around if there's a different kind of safety that feels better. But once you have it, just stay with it. Let it be here, soaking it in, bringing it into your body, really, really, really rooting in that safety of you are so safe. You are so supported, you are so held, you are so safe whether that be from yourself, another person, a place, or a higher power. There is no right or wrong, there is no better than. Beautiful, keeping that breath going. That's it. Keeping that breathing going. Holding that safety, knowing exactly where it is in your body. beautiful and now as we hold that safety and we continue to breathe and and keep that breath pattern going and circulating I invite you to open up that space between your hips so for women this might be your womb space for men your pelvis area and just Imagine it just opening up. Imagine there's just a candle in the center of your body, in the center of that space. That's it. And we're just letting, we're just like noticing that space, noticing that candle, noticing our safety. We're aware of all of it. That's it. And so we're just going to breathe now holding both, holding the space in your body in between your hips and your pelvis. That's it, and holding the safety. I am so safe and I am here. 
That's it. Keep breathing. Really dropping into that space in your hips. While holding the safety. That's it. And just imagine a light, that candlelight, pouring from that space and just like a beam. So there's like this giant wide beam of light, whatever color you choose, just shooting out from that space in your pelvis, shooting outward, just this beam of light. It's opening, opening, opening up with light. That's it. Keep breathing, keep holding that safety, and just keep holding that awareness in that space in your body, in your pelvis, and keep visualizing or imagining that beam of light just coming from it, expanding outward infinitely. That's it. Beautiful. From here, knowing we are so safe, knowing that we are opening up our ability to receive, feeling into what has felt scary. What has felt scary to receive? Has it been support? Has it been abundance, money? Has it been love? That's it. And notice where in your body, when you bring to mind, when you bring in that fear, notice where it is in your body. Is there a contraction in your chest? Do you feel a pain in your throat? Do your hips tighten up? Do your shoulders get heavy? Just noticing what happens when we bring in that fear around what we are afraid to receive. And so we are not doing anything. We're continuing to breathe, keeping that breath going, holding that safety, having the awareness of your hips, and then also having that awareness of that space, that fear. Yes. So as we lean into this fear, as we lean into this inability to receive or fear of receiving, for whatever it is. I'm just getting curious about it, noticing it. How does it feel in your body? And then toggling back and forth from the safety to the openness in your hips and then back to that fear. And we are not trying to get rid of, we are not pushing it out We are holding it all, holding it all. That's it, and just noticing what's happening as you breathe and you're holding all of this awareness in your body, you're holding this awareness of the safety, you're holding this awareness of the fear, you are holding this awareness in your pelvis area. Just notice what happens, how it feels as you move from one to the other. We're, we're noticing them all at once and then we're noticing them one at a time. That awareness of the safety, that awareness of that space in your body, that awareness of the fear. That's it. Just moving from them all. And then just as you hold all three or as you move around and you continue to breathe. (sighs) 
taking in, if it feels good, noticing how this lands in your body. I am safe to receive. I am safe to receive. I am safe to receive an abundance of money. I am safe to receive money and when I receive money, I am safe to have money and I am safe to spend money. I am safe to circulate money. I am safe to invest money. I am safe to receive. I am safe to receive. I am safe to receive love. I am safe to receive love. I am safe to have love. I am safe to give love. It is safe to receive love. Keep breathing. It is safe to receive support. I am safe to receive support. I am safe to reach out for support. I am safe to ask for support. I am safe to have support in my business. I am safe to have support in my home. I am safe to have emotional support. I am safe to have business support. I am safe to have financial support. It is safe to be supported. It is safe to be supported. I am safe to receive compliments. I am safe to receive compliments. Keep breathing. It is safe to receive compliments. It is safe to receive compliments. It is safe to give compliments. It is safe to circulate compliments. It is safe to take them in. It is safe to believe compliments. It is safe. I am safe. Keep breathing. And now just taking the time if there's something that hasn't been mentioned that feels unsafe to receive, go ahead and bring that in now. It is safe to receive. I am safe to receive. That's it. And then just taking this time now to really soak in whatever felt the best to you, whatever you really needed to have that safety with. Keep that breathing going and just really sitting in the, it is safe, I am safe holding that safety that's a holding that space in your hips knowing you are so safe letting it be so and just checking back in with that feeling of fear that you had before just noticing if anything shifted beautiful that's it That's it. I'm just noticing the safety in all of this. It is safe to receive. Letting that be true. And if any part of your system doesn't believe it's true, it's okay. You are in the process of believing you are safe to receive. And that gets to be true. You being here is the process.
that's it keep breathing and we're just gonna take a nice deep breath and hold our breath at the top that's it holding that breath continuing to hold and release and one more nice deep breath in holding at the top and release coming back to a normal breath pattern whatever feels good for you <sighs> just being here noticing what's settled what's shifted in your body that's it taking the time to come back nice and slow there's no rush Letting whatever's here be here. That's it. Beautiful. And just coming back, fluttering open your eyes ever so slowly, taking your time. I hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you for breathing with me today, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for listening to Breathwork Bestie. I hope you enjoyed your meditation. If you could take a moment to screenshot this episode and share it on social media and tag me at Excel Rose, I would appreciate it so, so much. If you enjoyed a specific breathwork bestie, you can find all of the information about them in their episode details. If you're interested in learning more about breathwork or how to work with me, then go to crystalrose.com or breathworkbestie.com.